Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome uh, to Midday Prayer Band. Uh, Sister Char Charlotte will be the speaker. We're standing in for Sister Sharon. Um, and we'll just begin with a word of prayer. Yes. Oh, Lord, the Heavenly Father, we come to you this afternoon thankful for life, thankful for the blessings. We pray that you'll be with us now as we uh, listen to Sister Charlotte's message, and we pray that you'll be with your people everywhere. Pray for the presence of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So we'll hand, hand over to Sister Charlotte. After 200 yards, go around the roundabout and take the third end. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. It is so good to be at his feet. We are continuing. This is going to be our last uh, part on the brook dried up. The brook dried up. This is the third part. Um, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this afternoon. How we pray and uh, how thankful we are that you love us so much. You don't even need any help from anyone for you to come through for us. May your name be glorified and may your name be magnified. Fill us with your spirit and help us to hear you as you speak to us. In Christ Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, before we go in into our um, into our uh, lesson today or our talk today. I just want us to read Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 10, just to encourage somebody. It says, he found them abandoned and alone in Egypt. He delivered and guided them through a desolate and windswept wilderness. He washed over his people and took care of them. They were precious to him. Just put yourself in the and just know that you are precious in the sight of the Lord. As an ego teaches a young to fly by steering up her nest and fluttering over her young, then swooping down to catch them on her outspread wings, carrying them aloft. So the Lord God has done for them. He needed no other gods to help him. He led them into the highlands and fed them with the fruit of the field. He led them. He fed them with honey from the rocks and supplied them with olive oil from trees in the uh, flinty crags. Oh, may the Lord's word be lifted up. May his name be lifted up. It's so amazing just to think of that journey of the children of Israel as they traveled. You know how the Lord provided for them. We are not even talking of one person there. We are talking of... Uh, uh, thousands of people who were there. What about you and your household? How many are you? Can the Lord not supply for you? Definitely he will. Um, I just read that verse and I just wanted you to, just an assurance to know that the Lord loves you and we are precious in his sight. Um, we are continuing with the, uh, the, the brook dried up. And uh, I wanted to say today we are going to look at um, why does the brook dry up? How does it help us as Christians? How does it help us as Christians when the brook dries up? I want to give an example of uh, Paul. You remember Paul experienced torture and imprisonment before he could write. Um, therefore, I just want to say, I believe Paul was ripened for the kingdom during those seasons of solitary confinement. I think John needed the rest from constant wearing oversight of the churches. It is almost impossible for human beings. You remember uh, John was in Patmos and he was all alone. But there, that's where he started writing the book of Revelation. It is almost impossible for human beings to recognize the limits of their physical endurance. We seldom stop in time to prevent damaging collapse. A Cambridge uh, naturalist released a pigeon that had been born in a cage. For the first time, the bird used to 
used its wings to fly around the laboratory uh, room. Around and around went the pigeon, excited and panting. Finally, in utter exhaustion, the frantic bird crashed into a wall and fell to the floor seriously injured. Only then did the scientist realize that the pigeon had inherited the instinct to fly, but not to stop its flight. Had it not been willing to risk the shock of a crash landing, the bird would have died of stress in mid-air. Sometimes God has to stop us from the furious passes before we destroy, before uh, he destroys, before we destroy our usefulness. The trauma of our sudden stop may be hard to understand and accept. Sickness, loss of job, or even tragedy may be necessary in order to provide time for physical and spiritual recuperation. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46 verse 10. In the thoughtful hours and days of slow recovery from surgery, many have found the secret of life in Christ. Perhaps only God understands why pain is often the only thing which can get the attention of us as human beings. Never should we blame God for utilizing the one device which will ultimately draw us to him. Strange as it may seem, prosperity, good health, and smooth sailing do not attract the soul to God. I don't know if you agree with this statement. I really do agree with this statement. You know, when things are going well, most of the people, I'm not saying all, we tend to have excuses when it comes to the work of the Lord and we don't want to pray, we don't want to do this and that. But when there is pain, we find ourselves seeking the Lord even more, praying even more. Uh, an illustration is given here. A man was imprisoned in a tower and was trying to alert passerby of his dilemma. They could not hear his cries. So he began to drop gold coins from his pocket to attract their attention. But although they scrambled about to recover all the falling money, not one pedestrian looked up to see the plight of the prisoner. Finally, he managed to break off a chunk of mortar from the crumbling wall and dropped it out the window. It struck a man on the head, injuring him. Only then did the man look up and get the message from above. In the same way, all manner of blessings are taken for granted. Instead of looking to the source, we are busily gathering more from the world around us. I just want to ask a question. Have you never heard um, people saying, you know what, I am busy. I've got a child to take care of. I've got children. I need to take care of them. I cannot go for evangelism. So many excuses. But these are blessings that the Lord is giving us. Why do blessings now become like excuses when it comes to the work of the Lord? It is only when we are hurt that we look up and begin to listen to the message God has been trying to communicate. After a period of test, will God always reveal the reasons for his divine permissions in our lives? His dried up brooks, eventually yes, but not necessarily in this life. Our faith may have to hold us steady until God can explain to us face to face what it had to be where we find ourselves sick continually or funerals continually. We can only understand some of these things when we get to heaven. Paul finally why God allowed his thorn in the flesh. It was to keep him from feeling the abundance of revelations granted him. 
I may have to wait until Jesus comes to understand why those trials were happening, you know. It took a few years for the citizens of Coffee Country, Alabama, to understand why the Bowlville invaded their fields, devastating the cotton industry completely. After turning to div um, diversified farming and eventually doubting their income from growing peanuts, the farmers of coffee County erected a monument to the ball uh, weevil. In the memorial inscription, credit is given to the ball weevil for forcing the change of crops, creating unprecedented, unprecedented, sorry, prosperity for that area. Christians should look for the reason when trials appear. Usually a new door will open when one brook dries up. But if the years bring no satisfactory explanation of tragic loss, then we should trust him still. I just want to say to us, we thank God for those dry brooks because they draw us closer and closer to heaven. We thank God for those dry brooks because they make us to sit and wait and hear the Lord when he speaks. Do you remember Moses? The time that he, he, he wanted to use his own powers to deliver the children of uh, Israel from bondage. And he ended up killing somebody. And when he went into the wilderness, the time when the brook ran dry, we find he, had, he was given 40 years to stay in the wilderness so that he can be a good leader to lead the children of Israel out of bondage. Let us pray. Our dear heavenly father, we want to thank you. Thank you so much that these brooks which run dry, they draw us closer to you. And we are also so thankful because these dry brooks, it shows that you want us in heaven. May your name be glorified. May your name be lifted up high. In Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you, Sister Charlotte. <laughs> I think I'm one of them. When things are going well and I've got money, I'm going all over shopping. But when things are not well, I start to fast and be in the house even three days, three nights. May God help us and open our eyes through the Holy Spirit. God bless you, sisters. Charlotte, may God continue to give you word, wisdom, knowledge, and power and understanding. Thank you very much. Anyone who want to comment? We don't have dry brooks. Still like Thank you. I just want to say uh, a, a very solemn message that you, you have given us, Sister Shailet, the Thank you for reminding us what our attitude should be towards dry brooks. Mm -hmm. Because I'm one of them that starts jumping up and down when things are not working uh, and trying to sort themselves out instead of <clears throat> being still and know that God, uh, is, that he is God and asking God, what will you have me to do? Said, I, 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 when you were talking about that uh, pigeon, is it that bird that ended up eating against the wall? I thought, okay, that is me that does that all the time. I'm certainly going to listen to this message again. Thank you very much. <laughs> God bless you, Sister Stole. God bless. Anyone who want to comment? Even Elijah, I remember, he prayed <laughs> 22 seconds of prayer and the fire came down. But uh, he was fearing Jezebel. 
he forgets what he did, he prayed and the fire come down. May God help all of us. As you said, the first verse you read, God is with us. God is with, always with us. Anyone who comment and then we pray. Okay, let's pray. Our precious eternal Father, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, thank you, Matthew 18, 20, for being in our midst. Thank you for this timely message, oh Lord. May you disconnect us from this flesh. Our mind is all over fear, all over the world. Disconnect us from fear, stress, depression, whatever, so that we know you are God and be still. Matthew 6, 33, you said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Everything will be added. Lord, I just want to thank you for dying for us on the middle cross, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah, for emptying heaven for us and the gift of the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit teach us this word we had today. Those who are going to listen and us who attend, may you bless us and enlarge uh, the territory of Sister Shai. As we are going to pray, may you fill us with the Holy Spirit, Romans 8, 26 and 27. We don't know how to pray. May you fill us with the Holy Spirit to teach us how to pray. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. Uh, we want to start with the praise. Who is taking the praise? I'll take the praise one. I'm not driving, Linda is. Okay. And the second one is... What is the second one, Sister Twins? Um, I think it's confession of sin, then the Holy Spirit, and then it's prayer retreat ministries. Yes, confession we can give to Sister Shailet. And who is taking the Holy Spirit? Rowena, HB, or Stolly? Stolly. Oh, you're taking the Holy Spirit. And who is taking the 41? The prayer retreat. We're just praying for this group so that we win souls because of these preachers who are preaching the timely message. Okay, I'll take that one if there's no one who is going to pray for this group. Yeah, we can take a little bit of a second to cry for our sins and then we start when I say amen. Let's put our house in order. Amen. Amen, amen. We can start with the praise. You can claim your own verse. So many verses in the Bible. Who is doing the praise? I'm doing the praise, Ali. Amen. amen. Ali. Yeah. Psalm, Psalm, one, uh, verse, Psalm, Psalm 9, verse 1. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvellous works. Oh Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings. We thank you for being with us throughout this day. We thank you for the beautiful things of nature we can still see, even after 6,000 years of sin. And so we ask that um, you continue to bless us with these, this beauty that we see. And we praise you because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. You created us in your image. And we, th we thank you again for the plan of salvation 
that we're not just a lost planet, but that you will come back to save your people. And then after the thousand years millennium, you will recreate the heavens and the earth. And so we praise you for the plan of salvation and we praise you for your goodness towards us. Keep us faithful in these last days, we pray. In the worthy and precious name of Jesus, amen. 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 First John chapter 1, verse 9. But if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive our sins and uh, dismiss the charges against us and purify us from all unrighteousness. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you that you are a God who forgives all our sins when we confess before thee. Therefore, we are asking you at this moment, O oh Father, that may you forgive us for our talk, our thought, our act. Help us, O oh Lord Almighty, that may there be no sin that have dominion in our lives. We pray mm. that may you uproot if there are any sins which are now like they are part of us. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, O oh Father. Creating us a clean heart, O oh God. How we pray as we are praying right now that search our hearts and see if they be any wicked way and lead us in the ways of righteousness. Mm. How we thank you because you are a faithful God. Lord Almighty, X-ray us. Is there anything that is not like you which is going to make us not make it into the kingdom? Please, Father, take it out. If it means the trials so that we can hear you, let it be so in the name of Jesus. We want to bless your name. We want to thank you. Because when you forgive, indeed, you forgive and forget. In Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. 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 And then let us continue in prayer for the Holy Spirit. And I read Luke 11 from verse 11. If the son shall ask bread of any of you, that is the father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give? Or a fish a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of this, this word. Our Father who art in heaven, our Lord be thy name. May your kingdom come. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life. And thank you for the prayers that have already ascended the praise and thanksgiving because there is none other like you and forgiveness of sin because these prayers are not going to go anywhere if we regard iniquity in our hearts mm -hmm. and it is by the faith of Christ in the faith in Jesus Christ that you have accepted the prayer that my sister um, presented before you for forgiveness of all our sins and that you have answered this prayer. And Lord, the one other one that we cannot do uh, with in this in this life, if we are to be called the children of God, is a spirit that brings at us unto all truth and righteousness, that helps us to recall what it is that you have taught us. The one that will even help us to get to the word and study it and and um, help us to internalize it and to live by, by the same word. Thank you, Father, for the gift of the Holy Spirit and that he is amongst us at the time like this where you promised that where two or three are gathered in my name, then mm -hmm. there I am in the midst of them. Thank you that you suffer for none to be lost. And therefore, you have made all the provisions necessary 
for those that use the gift of choice that you have granted to each one of us to make the choices that profit us or others for the kingdom of heaven. Father, we do not you we do not ask enough and we do not seek and we don't we do not knock. And that is why yourself and James rebukes us. That is why we don't have the Holy Spirit and we find ourselves uh, wandering into the camp of the enemy. And so I'm asking for those that have bowed down here this afternoon, Lord, that you pour out your spirit into our hearts and and for him and that to for him to help us with um allowing him to do the work that he can we only can do in our hearts because we are limited being just flesh and blood and those things that we can do that you have given us gifts to do lord please may he help us give us the courage the humility and the love of christ to want to do the things that please you and to love the things that you love and those things that we, that you hate sin to also hate it with the same intensity that you have, that you 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 hate it thank you father for that um for the blood of the lamb and uh, the whole plan of salvation may the holy spirit help us to realize the times that we are in and not to waste time looking to the left or to the right to focus on the on the middle cross that the, we we are short of time and therefore to do <sighs> what is necessary for us to find salvation please bestow your holy spirit on our children on our husbands our families mm -hmm. and continue to fill this platform the hearts of the people that log in here to keep us all in one accord and seeking holding each other hand as we are all seeking the the holy spirit there are some spirits that may want to 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 force their way onto onto this the school of the prophets that you've provided for us lord rebuke them in the name of the lord and may only christ be uplifted in the work that is happening not only in this ministry but in all the ministries that you have chosen us Thank you for all the gifts, the good gifts that you are waiting to give us. Let us consider them with fear and trembling. And Lord, this is my prayer, my humble prayer in the precious name of Messiah Yeshua. Amen. 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 I'm going to read Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached uh, in all uh, the world for a witness until all nations and then shall the end come. I'm going to pray for the prayer retreat. Let's pray. Our precious eternal Father, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, we come again to bring this uh, group of prayer retreats. This group is teaching healthy, is teaching the word of God, is teaching all the things and the end of time. Lord, I just want to bring this prayer retreat ministry in your nailed hands, Lord Jesus, the Lord of the Sabbath. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, from the leaders of the group uh, to those visitors who come every time to hear and those who listen on the YouTube, there is only Holy Spirit who can do only this job to convert, transform, and restore your people through the Holy Spirit. May you win soul. John 12, 32, you said, if I'm lifted up, I draw men. As this group is lifting you up, Lord Jesus, may you draw many to your heavenly realms, O oh Lord Jesus. May you bless the tackling twins. They are always busy. Uh, preaching they are always busy recording they are always busy is now they are in the ministry may you bless them may you bless everyone who is here may you read our hearts and meet our needs thank you lord to make it possible to hear this timely message 
May you bless all of us. May you remove these uh, things which are pulling us down. Some of them, they are small things. But Lord, we think this uh, dry brook is very big. May you help us through the Holy Spirit when things are not right so that we have a very good relationship with you, Jehovah, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. We thank you. We give all the glory, honor, and majesty, and dominion be to you, Jehovah, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 You can stop the recording, Tackling Twins.